Hello our most developed student, my name is Confident and welcome to our 24 minute lesson. This is the ultimate guide in maths, science, career guidance as well as a sneak peek in my personal experiences. This is a channel that is designed with you in mind. Let us dive into today's lesson. In this next lesson here where we are looking at the cracking of alkanes, this is a continuation of the elimination reactions and it is just a small lesson uh, where we look at the cracking of alkanes and what is the definition you need to know the definition of cracking it is the chemical process in which the longer chain hydrocarbons molecules are broken down into shorter more useful molecules i repeat again it is a process where longer chain hydrocarbons molecules are broken down into shorter and more useful molecules sometimes you'll find a molecule like this um, if it's an al Cane, for example, C30 HCN plus 262, like this. See, 30 carbons, and you want it's, a, it's not useful. Remember, uh, when you talk about petroleum, you find that it has got uh, long chain hydrocarbons, and you want to use this um, uh, carbon, you want to break it down into smaller, manageable carbons which are useful in industry and in industry you use small chain from c1 to c4 you know from methane ethane propane butane those are the common ones that are used in the industry so that's where cracking now comes in there is two types of cracking that you need to know there is thermal cracking thermal means heat so large hydrocarbons are broken into smaller hydrocarbons through heat a high percentage of hydrocarbons with double bonds are formed so here you form mainly alkenes with thermal cracking and then the next type of cracking is called catalytic cracking now what is catalytic cracking it is large hydrocarbons are broken into smaller hydrocarbons because it's cracking but in the presence of a catalyst and then a high percentage of these are branched alkanes and aromatic hydrocarbons are formed branched alkanes so here you form mainly alkanes but with branches now what are the reaction conditions for thermal cracking high temperatures high pressure don't forget that thermal is means heat but you need high temperature and high pressure sometimes it's a problem because to maintain high pressure you need now the problem with this is you need expensive equipment equipment it's difficult to to to, to have equipment that can withstand high pressure high temperatures I understand but still it's expensive because you need uh, high volumes of high fuels you see so you have to burn a lot of fuel to achieve that high temperature again you need strong walls to withstand the pressure hence they came up with catalytic cracking whereby you can still do the same thing but look at the temperature low temperatures are now used even moderately low pressure which makes it affordable it's no longer expensive but here you use a catalyst all right that can be used now example of thermal cracking uh, uh to pentan okay to pentan okay from i think they said from from pentan into propane and ethane and let's look at that thermal cracking of what pentan so when you're cracking this what happens you do this you take pentane which is one two three four five remember you're cracking them from long chain this is just a demonstration usually they are much longer than this so this is what you do you take from long chain are you seeing this it's long chain then here you are saying what you have you have heat and pressure very high high heat and pressure so what are you gonna have they're saying you get propane so let's look at that now if you're going to get propane because you have to balance the equation so propane is one two three I hope this is going to be clear though because of the writing so propane is that plus and what what else do you want you want ethane 
then we're gonna look at the balanced equation there then all right now the best thing is to look at the molecular formula what is this it's see what one two three four five c5 h what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve right let's look at this one c what c3 one two three four five six seven eight h8 and this one is c2 h4 but if you add 3 plus 2 it's c5 8 plus 4 is h12 do you see that you can form actually propane and ethene from what from pentane that is what the cracking does all right so having done that and then the other one says uh, and thermal cracking of octane octane we want to crack octane into two molecules of ethene butene and hydrogen let's try that octane so let me take octane which is what octane into two ethene plus butene plus hydrogen that's what they're saying so we take octane, octane, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are long chain molecules. This is one of the long ones. Remember, we in our syllabus, we go up to 8. But we have got decans, nonans, number 9, you know. But we can look at these. But they go up to carbon 30, carbon 60, very large. Now look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we're going to break into two ethene. So here, when you say this thermal, what you need? High heat and high pressure. Okay. So what are we going to have? Two ethene, which is 1, because at the end, the, re the equation must balance. This is the first one, plus another ethene. Because they say it is two of the ethene, plus butene, one, two, three, four. Are you seeing this? We just have to check if it does balance, plus hydrogen, which is H2. You can write it like this, but since it's structures, you can put it like that. Now, let's look at the formulas. The first one is C8, H what? You can count that. 8 times 2, 16 plus 2, 17, 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's 18. Now, let's look at this one. Here, the first one is C2, H4, C2, H4. C4, H8, and H2 here. So let's count how many carbons. It's 2, 4, plus 4. It's 8. Just see 8. How many hydrogens? 4, 8, 16, 17, 18, H18. See that it does balance. We have done what we mean by cracking. Don't forget the, 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 the generic part. There are two types of cracking. It is thermal cracking where you use heat and high pressure. There is catalytic cracking where you use low temperature, moderately low pressure, and a catalyst. That's why it's called catalytic. But in both areas, when we are cracking, we say it is a chemical process in which longer chain hydrocarbon molecules are broken down into shorter, more useful molecules. They will want you to know that definition. Very important. This definition is very important. They'll say define cracking. And then those are that. And then we're just demonstrating. Guys, nothing much is left. We are going to move on to the next lesson. We are done with this lesson. But as I said, be, uh, always uh, subscribe so that you can be notified every time there is a new video. Now, what is the next lesson? It's continuing with reaction conditions. These are the last parts now. This is about to wrap up. It is the hydrolysis. Uh, sorry, substitution. You know, like in a soccer field, this is a soccer field, you know, 
and then you have a soccer field here and then you have got teams you know they are playing you know they are 11 this side and then on the other side also you've got 11 players with the keeper and then let's not forget the keeper let's say they are 11 so 11 this side and 11 this side now when these guys are playing when you are substituting what happens is you will find here their substitutes and you find here on the bench their substitutes so when one gets injured in a soccer let's talk of soccer if one gets injured you discover for example let's this let's say this is number 11 he will go out because of some injury or he's tired or maybe the coach is not happy with the type of play he's doing then you take this one in that type of thing is called your substituting all right so even in um uh, what do you call this in this organic chemistry there are such reactions called substitution reaction whereby something comes in another one goes out it's substitution reaction the first one hydrolysis that we're going to look at and then after that one we also look at uh substitution in alcohols and i think that's the main part and then substitution in, in alkanes those are the three main ones we're going to look at but guys join me in the next lesson this was the part where we were just looking at catalytic cracking, but you need to join me in the next lesson, a very important part also. We've come to the end of our lesson. Thank you.